Hi, this is Lonnie Barrett with EasyOrgSites.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your calendar. First, let's take a look at the calendar as it appears on your website. We will click on the calendar navigation link. And here you see the calendar. If you do a mouse over, you will see expanded information about the activity or event. You will also see in the right sidebar, under Events Schedule, you will see Upcoming Events. Again, doing the mouse over, you see the expanded information. So to update your calendar, we will scroll down to the bottom, click the Admin Login. Enter your admin username and password. And log into the Control Panel. Under the dashboard, if you look down, you will see Events Calendar. Go down and click on that. And now you see your Events Calendar. You'll notice that you can scroll to the left to go back one month. You can scroll to the right to go forward one month. If you would like to change one specific event, you can click on that date activity, and that will pop up in a new window and you can enter the new information to be displayed on the calendar. Then click Update Event, and you see that the update now appears on the calendar. Now to add an event, just scroll down to the bottom of the page where it says Add Event and start typing in your new event. You can enter the date by typing in the year as four digits, the month is two, and the date was two digits. Or you can simply click this calendar and select your date. In this case, we're going to select next to move forward to February. And we're going to select February 7th. Then the start time, click in the box, click on this clock. You'll notice that the times are in military times. And if you don't know military times, you look at the, the 12 here. Anything to the left of that is AM. Anything to the right is PM, with 1300 being 1 PM, 1400 is 2 PM, 1500 is 3 PM, and so forth. So our event starts at 12 o'clock noon. And you don't need to enter an end date because it ends at the, on the same date. So we just enter an end time. And we will say that this event ends at 3 p.m. And we click Add Event. Here we see that our event has been added to the calendar. That's it for your calendar. I'll look forward to seeing you in future FAQ videos.